Okay, you're gonna need these two. You're gonna need these five things. Okay, first of all, you're gonna need to have Cydia. Okay, you're gonna need to have Cydia. Okay, when you have Celia, you're also going to need to have the Big Boss Repository. Well, the Big Boss Repository, I'll put it in the description. It is http colon forward slash forward slash apt dot the big boss dot org slash repo files slash something that I can't see. Anyway, so most of the time you'll have that package anyway, so there's no point even telling you about it. Now you're gonna want to look up i file. Exactly how it's spelled i file. You're going to want to get this one from Big Boss. That's why you need Big Boss Repository. I've already got it. You're going to want to get it. You'll tap there. You're going to tap install, but I've already got it. So Once you get that, you can go... You can go to the main screen. And you also need to have touch grind. I'll just show you. Right. You'll just need to have touch grind. Okay, after you have gotten the iFile app, it will look like that. Kind of like the Finder app on iTunes, on Mac computers. You want to go to it. And, like, you will, let's say if I was here, just keep pressing the arrow right there until the directory says that. Now you're going to go to, you're going to scroll down to var. Scroll down even more to mobile and then applications. And you can tell where you are because it says right there VAR mobile applications. Now, here you're going to have to go through the list and keep on looking for it. And you have to like look through each one of them, but I already know where mine is right here. So you'll get there and you'll find you tap on it. Right now. You'll go to touchgrind.app boards and this is where all the board files are. As you can see, it's like new and it comes with these it comes with these three files. This one, like okay, you've seen three times now. The texture which shows the board, the deck, the wheels, and that small circle is the bolt. Okay, and it comes, there's oh, it's just these three files, and then the code, which is here. Okay, so what you want to gonna do is press edit, go down, oh wait, yeah, press edit, tap the all three files, then tap this button right here, and then press copy. And, and it, as you can see, it won't be selected, but it will be copied to the clipboard. Press it again, and click paste. Now it's going to say that it's the same file, so you just say rename. And the same, the three files. So as you can see, now there's two of them. Noob.xml, noob1.xml, noob description, one PNG, noob description, PNG, and then the noob small as well. So, what is most of the time preferably to do, I've already made my two custom boards, I got prototype off a website, and then I made one called just hack, what, 
since my last board is 17, I'm going to go here, and I'll start the recording again. Okay, so as I was saying, now as you can see, we're not going to want to have two files called noob, so what you're going to do is, careful with the .xml, you want to leave that there, if you don't, if you don't leave that, then this code is completely useless, and you can't use it, so it's just a waste. You can you can get rid of it. You can completely erase it if you want, as long as you remember. Uh, I'm going to name it. I'm going to keep it so it's the very next board in the list. So I'm going to put 018. If this is the first time you've been doing it, then you're going to put 016. So you can put any number you want, as long as. Well, it doesn't really matter. I don't even think you need to put the number. I just do it just so it's neat. And then you'll put, um, I'll put hack. Oh no, because then it's confusing. I'll just put test. Dot. X. M. L. So you make sure you have that. So this code is done. And now, oops. Now you're gonna want to go to the last three files. Now this is important. If for the description file, it says DESC for description. You're going to want to make sure that it's got the correct file type, which is PNG. That is a picture file type. So I'll type 018 underscore test underscore now you gotta make sure this is correct description dot p n g you gotta make sure that that's right because then you're gonna fix up the coding after so now you'll see the picture the files aren't there they're at the bottom and I'll show you when I'm finished with this last one once again and then this one that this is the texture on the skateboard it's a jpeg it's another file type for pictures this one can it's just a bit more detailed file type. Now this one, you'll just put 018 underscore test dot jpeg. And it's not really jpeg, it's jpg. I'm not sure if you still consider that a jpeg. Probably not. But it's a dot jpg. Okay. Now, uh-oh, where's the files? Like I told you, they're all the way at the bottom now. As you can see, the team, they come after the prototype, the ninja board, the black devil, and then my other custom board that I made. So it'll be down here. Now what you want to gonna do because this is this is all the hard part. This is the more in my opinion the fun part. You're gonna wanna go here. And as you can see, those four lines with the numbers next to them, these three lines these four lines, this is all the behavior of the way the skateboard acts on the map. You've got the score multiplier, and right now it's set at 0.5f. I'm not really sure why the f is there. I've edited some other ones and it doesn't have the f, but you can change that to 1, and it won't multiply the total points you've scored by, let's say, if it was 2, it won't multiply 2,000 by 2 and make it 4,000. It will just make the points you gain when you're doing like an ollie or a kickflip, it will just make the points, um, go a little bit faster when it's when you see when you're in the trick and I don't, 